Welcome to Kit Catastrophe. My name is Kit, and today is the 8th of January, 2020. It's high time I did another Squawk Box, yeah? Especially since I haven't posted anything since before Christmas. Give me a break, I was on vacation. And I have five of my teeth pulled. Anyway, now that I've pretty much all healed up and the back-to-school funk isn't so strong, I figured I'd give an update on how the channel's going. Well, it's 2020. You know what that means. Kappa has taken effect. As of now, my entire channel is designated as not for kids, and I intend to keep it that way. While some of my videos got marked as for kids in the initial bot sweep a month or two ago, I've since changed them back because I don't make content for kids, nor will I ever. My audience is strictly teenage and adult collectors like myself, and anyone under the age of 13 who happens to get a glimpse of my videos better fuck right off. And, that being said, I will continue to assert that my content is not for kids, since YouTube itself has stated, According to the new guidance released by the FTC, your content isn't considered made for kids just because some children may see it. Of course, if the brainlets at YouTube HQ decide to bring down the hammer, I'll have no choice but to comply and bitch about it later. However, I do have another option in case things get drastic. If any of you in the audience is familiar with the reviewer Runestone's reviews, he's packed up from YouTube for good and migrated to a little-known site called Vlare.tv, and has since re-uploaded his whole library and rebranded himself as Runestone Reborn. I've done more or less the same, minus the rebranding. You can find all of my content, minus these squawk boxes and other various videos I didn't think were worth re-uploading, on my Vlare channel, Kit Catastrophe, and all future uploads will be housed there as well. That doesn't mean I'm leaving YouTube. I'm staying here as long as I possibly can. You think I'm gonna throw away 200 subscribers and start over? I don't think so. What I will be doing is uploading my future reviews onto Vlair first, and then making them public on YouTube just to provide a little more exposure for the channels on that website. If you don't want to make the move, it won't be a long wait. It'll most likely just be a day between going live on Vlair and going live on YouTube. Now onto something a little more levitous. In my last video, I hinted that I had some exciting plans for my future reviews. I'll be introducing a ranking system at the suggestion of both Red and Runestone. It took me a while to figure out how I wanted it, but I've since found a result that I'm happy with. I call it the Galactic System, Galactic being an acronym for the eight different ranks. From top to bottom, they are Galactic, the cream of the crop, the very best figures I've reviewed. Astounding. Very good figures in their own right, but not quite good enough to be the best. Lovely. Figures that would usually wind up on my desk one way or another. These tend to be really fun, but not exactly approaching great. Above average. Well, this could technically be average, but it's on the positive end of the spectrum. Crummy. Think of these as approaching average, but not quite making it there. Tragic. These figures usually have at least one or two very good things about them, but the rest just drags them down. Ignore. These figures are barely worth the plastic they're molded with. Catastrophic. These are figures Bolt Matrix would give the Bumblebee treatment to. So at the end of every review, not only will I be giving my overall thoughts on a figure, but I'll be awarding it with one of these eight ranks. Can't wait! Stay tuned, my first review of the year will be up shortly. This has been Kick Catastrophe. Transform and roll out.